Welcome to this training video on the pivot function. You can download the workbook to follow along in your own copy of Tableau. We saw in the previous video what the ideal structure of a data table looks like, and specifically how in an ideal scenario we have each variable that we want to work with in a separate column. Now there are cases when your table might be structured a little bit differently. For instance, here's the same data that we've used before, but structured in a different way. Instead of having all the CO2 values in one column and the years in another column, we have one column for each year, with the column header being the year and the rows below that being the CO2 emissions for the different countries in that particular year. This is something that we can work with, but in most circumstances, a data set like this is not very handy. It works if we just want to show the CO2 emissions for one or two particular years. But as soon as we want to look at several years, it becomes very difficult to put together a chart because we have this long list of fields that we need to handle. Also, there's no straightforward way to create a simple line chart that shows CO2 emissions across all those years. For those reasons, it is typically advisable to pivot your data set before you work with it. That is, we want to transform it from this wide format to what is called the long format, whereby you get year and CO2 emissions to be two variables that you can work with. To transform a data set like this in Tableau, simply select all the columns that you believe belong together. in this case, all the years. Go into the menu and select Pivot. This now creates two new columns, field names and field values. And as we can see, field names are basically our years. These are the column headers that used to run across at the top of the table, and they are now collected in their own column. So we can rename this as year. The second field contains the values that we had in the different columns. These are all the CO2 emissions for the respective years and countries. Essentially, what a pivot like this does is that it stacks what used to be separate columns on top of each other so that we have all the values now in one single field. This makes it a lot easier to work with the data. Now we have two columns, year and CO2, that we can use for instance, create a line chart that we wanted. 